All right, here we are for a run and driving video of our 94 Dodge Ram, 12 valve Cummins. It's got 136,000 miles. She's just about up to operating temperature. Got all the lights going. It's pretty sunny out though, so you can see how well this color really pops in the sun. But we'll try to get close so you can see them all the lights working. It's burning nice and clean. There's that light working. So we're gonna get in here and get belted in. You can see the temps finally coming up. It'll uh, it'll go up a little more as we start driving too. So I'm gonna hit some speed bumps. Uh, as you can see how rattle free this uh, this truck is. Got the cup holder right now. I got the overdrive off uh, switch off. So we'll roll up the window. You can see how that works really good. Got your our door locks. Oops. And those mirrors, some people might not think they're power, but they are power mirrors. Which is kind of a cool uh, option. Doesn't have the uh, real big mirrors. There you got uh, your compass and your degrees. It's got the, uh, it's ice cold AC in here right now. Hopefully you can hear that blower motor. Working really nice, smooth. Gets nice and warm in here too. It's so alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and hit the road. There's the horn works. It's a really easy shift four-wheel drive system. It's just basically pull down and you can be driving shift on the fly. If you wanna go into four low, you're gonna wanna come to stop, put it in neutral and pull it over. But you can go in and out of two high and four high without an issue. And you got your cup holder up there. Windshield wipers. You can put them on low, high. All those work really good. Hopefully the sun glare won't be too much, but uh, hopefully if traffic allows, we'll get out on the freeway, uh, get this opened up a little bit, turn on the the overdrive. And we can hear going over those speed bumps. It's nice and quiet. So this might be uh, a little boring for you because it's kind of peak traffic time and it's sunny out so everybody's probably just loving it. But uh, hopefully you can hear that Cummins 12 valve. This is the quietest, smoothest, straightest driving 12 valve I've ever had. I mean, it's, it's you know, if you've ever been the 24 valves of the second gens, they're a little quieter. It feels like you're in a 24 valve. It's that quiet and smooth. I mean, there's no play in the steering, brakes perfect, no ball joint issues, uh, the ball joints were replaced recently, uh, no tie rod issue, drag link, you know, it's a common issue in these Dodges, it's in good shape, the power steering box isn't leaking, you know, for some reason those are kind of the known Dodge issues. Get on over here, I'm trying to think about what else, uh, to do on this bad boy, but we'll see if we'll go ahead and pull it down into four-wheel drive. You just pull it down there, and then basically you're gonna be in. And we'll go ahead and hit the road like that for a little bit. The traffic up here in the Northwest is horrible, but uh, the oil change has just been replaced. Um, just done with uh, Dello, of course. And then you got a self-dimming rear view mirror. So it's got 136, 472, and you can see the little orange dial shows you which gear you're in. Um, oftentimes that won't work. So your four-wheel drive light comes on now. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go forward, and out it goes. So you've got your tilt steering here. You got your cruise on. It's easy to set. All right, it's a little congested, but. It'll be a little bit of a longer than normal video. So hopefully you guys can stick around for this. You can see the tilt steering goes up and down really easy. I'll go ahead and put it at the lowest setting. Maybe you can see the gauge is a little bit better there. But yeah, this is a 
a super clean all original Dodge. Um, I know I've probably mentioned it a couple times, but I've had a ton of these 12 valves and even the 24 valves and they're just usually really edgy, really beat up. Just all of the door panels are kind of hanging off, the ashes are cracked and uh, you know, they're just loud trucks. Well, this one is really quiet. Hopefully we're gonna be getting the, uh, the go ahead here soon. All the dash lights work. Unfortunately, right now you can't see it because it's daylight. I'll turn off the AC too. See if it gets a little bit quieter. Turn on full blast. And you got your center console. Opens up nice. It's got you know got trays for tapes, which you know most of us aren't using that stuff anymore. But locks nice. Opens up nice. My seats go back and forth easily. Don't get hung up or unbroken. It's got trailer brake controller, it's a more modern one, so that's nice to have. All right, this is an extra long light, <laughs> apologize. Um, but the it's a non-smoker, but the uh, the port still works for if you wanna, you know, get a cigarette lighter or if you wanna plug it in your iPod or your cell phone, it charges up good. You know, the uh, this thing just retracts back in there. It's kind of a cool little cup holder. And, hold the big ones. So all right, we're gonna go ahead and hit it here. I'm gonna turn the overdrive on. And I generally say, you know, leave the overdrive off if you're doing towing, or if you're doing, uh, you know, relatively city driving, like 45 and under. Shifts really nice and smooth. And it's straight as can be. Downshift's really nice. But yeah, there's, you can see there's a ton of traffic. You know, right now we're doing right about 60. You know, foot's off, cruise control's working. Changes lanes really easily. I'll go ahead and turn the overdrive off. You know, you'll here the RPMs kick up, turn it back on, and they kick down, so. All right, so we're just gonna sit here and cruise for a little bit. I got the overdrive off. You can see it's just really tight. I mean, there's just no play in this thing at all. You're no white knuckle drive. You're not hunting down the steering. I really wish there was no traffic so I could open her up a little bit more for you. Um, maybe we'll get an opportunity here. got about 70 right now um, I don't think traffic's gonna allow but I mean you can see it's as straight as can be easy easy truck to drive you know no cracks in the window but uh, I appreciate you guys sticking along for this I can never predict the lights or predict traffic so um, we're just gonna do a little bit of a cruise here make it easy uh, this truck, you know, if you're going to be towing a load, it's it's just a killer truck. It's super, you know, tight and solid. You don't got to worry about putting a heavy load in the back and having sloppy steering and, and you know, crappy brakes when you come to put the stoppers on. Uh, go ahead and switch hands. See if I can... But it's a really well-rounded truck, 136,000 miles. You know, this is pretty much about... You know, as good a job as I could do of getting you guys in the seed without actually being here. So if you have um, any more pictures, you know, you want specifics, there'll be extras posted up on there too. But uh, we'll have the 100 listed and then the photo bucket usually has a couple extras. Or if you want a specific video, um, as long as the weather and, and time allows, I'll get out there and do a video and email it to you specifically. Um, or post it up on YouTube and, and post a link. But anything else you need as long as uh, just try to get those questions you know to me for added pictures or videos at least two days before the auction ends because if it's the day of it's really tough to do but uh all right so this is going to no uh no reserve so good luck